boys and girls, welcome to Universal Studios Florida and a very special holiday presentation. Their records have sold more than 32 million copies. They are the number one selling Christmas artist of all time. Universal Orlando Resort, in partnership with American Gramophone, proudly presents the Christmas music of Mannheim Steamroller by Chip Davis.
Ladies and gentlemen, Grammy award-winning composer, Chip Davis. Hi there. Thank you all so very much for being here tonight. I see we have a full house. Fantastic. Uh, we've been coming here now for 14 years. This is our 14th year. Thanks to all of you. And also thanks to all some very special people at Universal who has made this possible these whole 14 years. And I want to give a particular salute to Bill Davis for bringing us back year after year. Now I'd like to introduce the performers in Mannheim Steamroller. Over here on my right is the lovely Carly Daniel. And over here on my left is the lovely Jonathan Swoboda. And of course, the fabulous Universal Mannheim Orchestra. The next piece we'd like to do is Green Sleeves. This is an arrangement that I, I've always loved Green Sleeves, thought it was a fabulous tune, but I wanted to do an arrangement that was somewhat different. And one of the different parts is that this has a vocal on it. And picture this, that the young lady singing this uh, was just 14 years old when she did this. And she was my daughter, Elise Marie Davis, who is not, uh, who's out of college now. She was only 14 in the video, time flies. Anyway, I hope you'll enjoy Green Slaves. Thank you.
that my youngest daughter, my oldest daughter, is here tonight with her husband and family. Her name's Kelly. She's right out here somewhere. Uh, Kelly was here at one of these concerts oh, a couple years ago. Uh, have you guys ever been over to the Harry Potter world? You know, they have a wand shop over there, right? Why? Because they wand a... Don't worry. You know, hey, they get worse. <laughs> so anyway, Kelly got me this magic wand from the wand shop over at Harry Potter. And she said, Dad, what if you tried to use that to conduct with? Well, I did. And I went to cue the French horns. And as you can tell, we only have one now because one of them disappeared, turned into a frog. I told you they'd get worse. <laughs> anyway, we'll keep going with the concert.
Ladies and gentlemen, once again, Chip Davis. Hi there, I'm still here. Hey, how about that snow? You know, few of us live in Nebraska. We expect it there, but not in Orlando. <laughs> anyway, uh, the next thing I want to tell you about, I have to look and see what it is. <laughs> I've only done this show for 14 years. You'd think I'd know it by now. Anyway, uh, uh, how did this whole concert thing come to be? And uh, it started back 14 years ago, and I got a phone call from some of my friends in management here at Universal saying, hey, we would kind of like to do The Grinch that stole Christmas. Would you be up for arranging it? And I said, yeah, absolutely. You know, conduct it too, and the whole thing. And that's the next part that we're gonna do for you is The Grinch that stole Christmas. But um, I said, well, how soon do you need it? And they said, oh, 10 days. I'm like, hey, I'm in Oregon on Haystack Rock and the tide just came in. I can't get off the rock for about a day and a half. Anyway, uh, the guys at Universal always claim that that's not true, but you know what? I'm the one with the microphone. <laughs> anyway, we hope you'll enjoy Grinchmas. Thank you again for being here. And now, please welcome the talented performers of Universal Orlando's Grinchmas.
decorations were being hung by the windows with care in the hopes that soon St. Nicholas would soon be there. Working through the night and all through the day was the decorating committee led by the lovely Martha May.
Then the Grinch got an idea. An awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. The Grinch laughed in his throat. <laughs> and he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. And he chuckled and clucked. Hmm, what a great Grinchy trick. With this coat and this hat, I'll look just like Saint Nick. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black Humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. The Grinch did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, then it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. Why, this sound sounded merry. And he puzzled and puzzled till his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a storm. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And he brought back the toys and the food for the feast. And he, he himself, the Grinch, carved the roast beast. Welcome Christmas! Stop in your cheer! Cheer to all who's far and Christmas Day is always in our grasp, as long as we have hands to clap. Christmas Day will always be, just so long as we have we. Welcome Christmas while we stand, heart to heart and hand to hand.
ladies and gentlemen, Grammy Award-winning composer Chip Davis and the music of Mannheim Steamroller.